Hello, my name is Ketan Chiretti and I'm the developer of this particular software. The software is given to you in a flash drive which is available for both the PC as well as the Mac version. Please note the flash drive for PC is different than the flash drive for Mac. This flash drive is for the PC version and I'm demonstrating that to you simply for the PC version. Please insert this flash drive into the USB port of your computer. You'll observe this screen and you need to open folder to view files. Over here on your keyboard of the computer please type AP and you will see this icon called AP Chemistry and all you need to do is to click on this icon. This is the main menu. The flash drive assumes the student knows very little or no chemistry at all. And it takes the student from not knowing any chemistry all the way down to knowing the entire AP level of chemistry. Please note the software contains all the necessary tools that one would need to meet the knowledge of AP Chemistry. This is the only college board approved electronic software in chemistry. I would like to introduce to you to chemical kinetics. My introduction is going to be very brief simply because we have sent some flash drives for you. So if you are interested, please take one of these trial flash drives for 30 days and play with it. See what your favorite chapters are and you will be able to appreciate the work that has been done. This is basically the main menu. When you click on chemical kinetics or any other chapter, you come up to the topic menu. And here are the different topics that are covered in the entire software. I would simply like to show you some navigational features and therefore I'm going to section 13.1 which is Introduction to Chemical Kinetics and Reaction Rates. Chemical kinetics is the study of the rates at which chemical reactions occur. Here, rate means speed. Speed involves time. Therefore, the study of chemical kinetics involves time. Note, the SI unit for time, products. Now, if the you reaction want rate is a measure of the change in concentration to mute the voice, you pump. can mute the voice. There are a total of 130 different voices in the entire software. You can click to go forward. You can rewind it. Or you can pause it. These are all the navigational controls that you have in the software. If you want to unpause it, click on it. And if you want the sound, you can get Only the sound. A is present. As the reaction progresses, going back to topic menu, wherever we have written the word interactive, we have included interactivity. And here is how we have done the interactivity to give you an example in instantaneous rates. 
The rate of reaction or reaction rate at a particular time is called the instantaneous rate. Example, the decomposition of dinitrogen pentoxide is represented by the following reaction. The reaction rate is expressed in terms of reactants as reaction rate equals and this is what the student has to do interactively. For every interactivity, we give you two tries, after which we give you the right answer. For example, in this particular case, if the student types in negative and presses enter, Correct. try again. It tells you where you're right and where you're wrong. The next time, if a student just types in its delta T, and you negative put it in, delta the second time, N2 you can see it gives you the right answer. By two delta D. The experimental data characterizing the progress of the decomposition reaction is given in the following table. Calculate the instantaneous rate of the decomposition of N2O5 at 25 seconds. To calculate the instantaneous rate, make a graph of concentration N2O5 versus time. So now we are going to have to draw the graph. So here are the points at 0. At 15, it is 0.42. At 30, it is 0.31. At 45, it is 0.23. And at 60, it is 0.17. At 25 seconds, draw a vertical line that intersects the curve and drop it at 25 seconds. Draw the tangent line to the curve at the point of intersection. Drag the tangent line and drop it to the point of intersection. Now select two points at a reasonable distance from each other on the tangent line. Find the x and y values for each of these points. The difference in x values, that is x2 minus x1, equals so this is what we have done. Taken a student step by step interactively. Please note, before interactivity, we also teach them how to do the whole thing. How in basically the whole theoretical concept and the examples are taught to them. After which we interactively extract it from the student give you another example of problem on rate law expressions involving two reactants of course interactive so when you click on that you are now, going to find in the following interactive the problems, interactive problems. All numbers in, scientific notation must in the interest of time i'm going to go forward the following rate data was obtained a determine the rate law b calculate the overall order of the reaction c Calculate the rate constant, K. The general rate expression is... So the very first thing we want the kid to know is the general rate expression. And of course, all one has to do is to type in the concentration of A and the concentration of B. And enter it in, and you can see rate that it is the right answer. A times the concentration of A raised to the power of M times the concentration of B raised to the power of N. From the following data sets, which two data sets would you select? So you can see how we have done it. And then you go forward in the interest of time and you put the value in, put the value then. And then, of course, you got to do the math. And in order to do the math, we'll also give you a calculator. So everything is given to you to understand or solve that problem. And the student is able to use this entire software in a non-threatening environment. Going back to the topic menu, we also give you PowerPoints to all the chapters. There are a total of about 982 PowerPoints. And here they are in Chemical Kinetics. Please note, the PowerPoints do not have the interactive component. We also give you 
the running notes of the entire chapter. So you can print out one page or you can print out pages of all the chapters that we have given to you. Hence, this becomes your running textbook. Would like to show you a video on catalysis just to prove it to you that we have included videos right here. In the preceding section, we learned that the reaction rate generally increases with temperature. A catalyst speeds up a reaction by producing a more favorable path between reactants and products. This new path has a lower activation energy, E sub A, than the original path. A homogeneous catalyst is present in the same phase as the reactants. If the reactants are gases, then the catalyst is also a gas. If the reactants are in a solution, then the catalyst must be dissolved in that solution. The reactants and the catalyst are mixed with the solvent, water, to make a homogeneous red aqueous solution. The catalyst produces the red color. Going back to the topic menu, I would like you to see this particular set of practice problems. In every chapter, the yellow colored practice problems indicates the practice problems to be done at the end of the chapter. Over here, we use various different pedagogies. Pedagogy means style of teaching, style of learning. So here is the first one in 13.29, where we offer the problem. And I'm just going to go ahead in the intro, I mean, to just show you an example. So looking at this problem, please note, we have given you a timer. We even give you a scratch pad, glossary, notes, formulas, and the calculator. You have two tries to solve this problem. Try number one. It's not the right answer. Try number two. This is the right answer. Now, why is this the right answer? When you click on the solution, you will get a detailed explanation of why that is the right answer. Change the concentration of O2 divided by delta T. Negative changing concentration of O3 divided by delta T. You can see the timer stopped because I selected the answer in 0.34 seconds. All the timer does is tells a student if they take too long to solve the problem, says, hey, you took too long to solve the problem. Basically, the generation today likes to beat the clock, and in beating the clock, they learn time management. Going back to the topic menu, please take a look at the other pedagogy that we have added. So here it is. In the interest of time, I'm going to go forward to something more interesting. Let's take a look at this, for example. And we once again provide you with all the tools. You decide this is the answer. That is the answer. But even though that is a right answer, when you click on the solutions button, it takes you line by line, step by step. If you need help in doing this, you click on the help button and it will show you where we have covered this particular topic on the program. So everything is given to you right at your fingertips. And you're, when you do this and when you click a help button, you essentially get a help. So the point here is we do not give you the answer, but we take you or we lead you into the answer. And that's the whole idea. So that is what we have done throughout this entire thing in a step-by-step -step format. With this pedagogy, 
there are more than 2000 problems in the entire software and with the earlier pedagogy that's right here in 13.29 which I showed you earlier there are more than 1100 practice problems in the entire software we also give you practice problems which do not have any solutions and here it is this can be assigned for homework and this we have given you more than about thousand problems that you can assign for homework and create them the next is section point thirteen point thirty three over here we give you multiple choices take a look at this we are giving you 25 sample problems to be completed in 25 minutes when you begin the test the timer starts you now only have 25 minutes to complete the test that's it at the end of 25 minutes timing is all done test is over we give you the formula button, the periodic table, and the calculator. You write this answer. Great. Next problem. You select this answer. Wonderful. Next problem. This is the answer you select. You go on to go to the previous problem and select this as an answer, as a change. You can do all those things. At the end of it, you finish the test and you got a nice score of zero. This page a student can take a screenshot of this and send it to the instructor for grade. What did you answer and what's the right answer? And when you click on the solution, it gives you the correct solution to this particular problem. So that's what we have done. Now, please remember this problem. Something very important. Going back to the topic menu, Going back to 13.33, begin the test and guess what? The problem is not the same. The flash drive judges whether the student really knows or does not know. After a few problems, if the student really knocks out, which means they get every problem right, then the problems get tougher. And if the student does not get these problems right, as I did not, then the problems get easier. This is simply to boost the morale of the student. Remember, the student's final goal is to get as best a score as possible. And in doing so, they practice this over and over and over again. And at no two times, they will get the same set of problems. In this pedagogy, we have added more than 3,000 problems in the entire software. We also take you through the free response style questions. Once again, this is a test and therefore you do not get two tries. You only get one try to do this. So over here, it is a pH meter and over here, it's a concentration of OH minus and your score is three points. And once again, you can view the solution for this problem. So we give you a full detailed solution to this thing. In this manner, ladies and gentlemen, we have covered more than a thousand problems with this pedagogy alone. Finally, we give you problems for standardized tests because many students in the U.S., besides AP Chemistry, they take the Regents exam in New York, they take the Olympiad exams. So therefore, we have also given you the entire standardized test problems. Coming back to the main menu, we have given you an index which essentially tells you where things are located. And all you have to do is to click on that particular topic. And when you click on it, it takes you right there. To a surface so are called adhesive forces. 
Water placed in a glass beaker. Going back again, going back to the main menu. This is the CB button, which is the College Board's curriculum button. When you click on that, it gives you the big ideas, the enduring understanding, essential knowledges, and all of that. And where things are located on the software. So, coming back to the very famous topic that the College Board has added, which is called the photoelectron spectroscopy. When you click on that, it takes you right into well, photoelectron spectroscopy. Up to now assumes that the electron in an atom so are that is also shell. covered. Now, we discovered that many, many kids and of course many teachers do not know much in photoelectron spectroscopy. So we wanted to bring the kids and the prof teachers to understanding the basics of conceptual questions and answers. So we added quite a few conceptual problems. And here it is. Number two, just giving you a view of it. This is how we have explained to you the entire diagrammatic problems and of course, we take you in a step-by-step, -step, line by line manner to understand the fundamental concepts of photoelectron spectroscopy. So the kid, as well as a teacher, would know exactly how this has been done. And this is what we have shown you right in this particular case. I'm just taking you through some problems in a very fast manner where we have now introduced to you the entire photoelectron spectroscopy. With this pedagogy, we have covered more than 600 problems. Whenever you want to exit, you can exit the program. So please do not yank out the flash drive. Click on exit button, quit it. And now you can basically go back to the flash drive. And here it is. And you can open this. And let's open it. And if you kind of click on one of the files up here, this one, and if you double click that, then it gives you the record of how much time the student has used the flash drive. So if a student comes and tells you that they have used the flash drive for 40 hours, you can easily go here and check it out. By yanking the flash drive in an improper way will not allow the, the timing to be recorded and that would create an error. So that's what we have done. You close this and this is what this is how you eject the flash drive. So you kind of eject it safely, remove the flash drive. It says yes. And now you can yank out the flash drive. This will assure you that the flash drive keeps running all the time. Second point. We also have included online homework which is about 95 sets of five problems each, which you can assign the homework to the students. It's an online homework that the student can even do it on their telephones, iPads, whatever. The flash drive will not work on iPad or telephones. You need a PC or a Mac operating system, Windows, or Lion, Mountain Lion, uh, Maverick, whatever the current system is, it will work on that. Last but not the least, we also have included five sets of lab questions, questions that people need to think about when they are talking about lab chemistry. And this is what the whole flash drive contains. Once again, we will be glad to give you a 30-day trial copy. If you or your school decide not to buy it, 
please send it back to us so that we can recycle it and give it to many other teachers who would like to get this copy. I want to thank you for your attention. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.